Good morning. Hello, Tanse. Bonjour. Hope everybody's doing good. My name is Dallas Arcan, and I'd like to welcome you to another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Now, this is a daily activity that uh, I do every day, and I've committed myself to sharing this every day on my channel. And I just like to say welcome to all the newcomers, and I'd like to say thanks and uh, express my gratitude for all the comments and all the uh, the shares and the likes and the follows and and it's always good to hear the the feedback and the comments i'm really grateful to hear your stories and uh, everybody has been sharing and it's been uh it's been a really great journey so far and i do this every day at 7 30 in the morning because um i i basically live what i talk about and what i talk about is is uh, fitness and health and and that's the truest wealth that uh, you could ever have you can have all the money in the world but if you don't have your health then uh, you basically have nothing you know because without your without your health you can't enjoy life and that's what this is all about it's about enlightening yourself investing in yourself giving yourself that that love that self-love and care and it's like in our indigenous culture you know a lot of our people we we smudge right to bless ourselves bless our houses but uh, I think sometimes we forget to to give ourselves that that blessing of dancing and that's what dancing is all about it's not about going on the powwow and and being in the powwow lights it's also being about uh, dancing for healing for yourself for your community and for everything like that so anyways I'm going to uh, get started uh, with the with today's quote I actually found a quote by um, a great American author by the name of Zig Ziglar. I was actually listening to a Tony Robbins podcast this morning, and one of the uh, one of the people on the podcast mentioned Zig Ziglar, and I seen a few of the quotes, and I wasn't sure who that was. And I looked up uh, Zig Ziglar, and is actually a pretty uh, pretty powerful motivational speaker that has helped a lot of people out. So I always like to begin my sessions out with a, with a famous quote, either by a famous person or myself. So anyways, the quote goes, you don't have to be great. Uh, you don't have to be a great start, but you have to start to be great. So, um, and the reason why I chose that quote by Zig Ziglar is actually because um, I've been hearing people on here saying that, uh, you know, they... They've been challenged by dancing, and they're they're not very coordinated, or they they're uh, you know they're they're not in shape. But uh, you know, I I always tell people that come on the channel, you know, do it at your own pace, and it's not a race, it's a it's a pace and consistency. Because excellence is not a singular act. You are what you do repeatedly. So that's why I do this repeatedly every day, the same way. And you know you can get bored of it or or whatever, but it's it's uh, it's up to you. You know I I never get bored of it. I I'm just happy to to have another day to to enjoy the day to start my day this way is is truly the best reward I could ever give myself. So cheers and good morning. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to play some uh, Mountain Soul singers again uh, for today, and they're one of my favorite drum groups. All right, let's get those feet moving. One, two steps. So if you're new to this, we start out with a basic step. Oh, let me adjust the camera here a little bit. All right. Get those hands moving like this. All right, I'll turn up this, the tune so you can hear them. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, right, left. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just like that. And then let's get your hands moving like this. Your hands up and down. One, two. And that's the rhythm of how our music. It's a basic rhythm. Alright. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 
Soul Singers. Mountain Soul Singers are from the Small Boy Camp here in Alberta. They're one of my favorite drum groups. And uh, you might know them as uh, Mountain Cree on the Powwow Trail. They've uh, changed their names. I don't know why, but uh, that's their name. So good morning, everybody, and welcome. And if you're new to this channel, just follow along the best as you can. And this is about fitness. We're using powwow dance moves and powwow style movements to promote a full body workout and we work on all the different muscle groups and so welcome welcome everybody this is for everybody so even if you're not indigenous this is for you too because indigenous people we do non-indigenous things to work out like for example martial arts uh, yoga zumba all kinds of things we have here in our community and I'm broadcasting live from Alexander, First Nation. Okay, let's start that song again. I'm going to start with the second song. This is the warm-up, the warm-up phase. Okay. All right. And it doesn't matter if you're in your pajamas or whatever, as long as you're comfortable, work out clothes because we are gonna sweat a little bit, okay? And that's important. Okay, so now let's work on the next muscle group, which is the least mus least worked out muscle in the body, which is the hamstring muscle. So we're gonna work it out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And also on your other foot, you're hopping like this. Just off the ground like that. One, two, three, four. And we're working our bicep muscles. And if you want to really work them, pick up a couple of dictionaries and go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. so well and you wonder how I stop so mysteriously and get that music on time well our music's really easy to understand because it comes in fours we always have that lead singer you have to pick up we have verse one verse two now that was a really good warm-up so now I'm going to uh, get into the meditation and stretch phase catch your breath a little bit phase as well and have some water because water is life so we're gonna get into the meditation phase where I play some flute so now uh, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth so every five seconds go in and out and relax you got to relax those muscles now we warmed up and we go in and out so now while you guys are Relaxing, I'm gonna play you a little flute song, then I'll play my flute music, then we'll stretch. Okay, here we go.
there we go. Now, that was the little little flute piece there to get you guys in tune with everything. And now I'd like to uh, play my very own flute music from my album, um, Dallas Arcan Sacred Sweetgrass, right there. And if you do like the music, you can find it on iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify. It's on all those different things. And uh, some people have been telling me that they use it for sleep music, which is good. It's meditation. You know, sleep is meditation, but you're not actually sleeping. You're in tune with your mind and your heart, your soul, everything. So now let's get get into some stretching. Now that we've done the warm up part, um, you know, it's really important to do that as well. So how I start out my stretches is do the wrist first, start out small, and then from there go to uh, bigger, even bigger stretches. So small circles and eventually get into some bigger circles and it's really important to stretch and you always want to warm up first before you stretch because you know you don't want to stretch cold because your muscles are uh, brittle when they're cold so get those uh, we, we, we did the warm-up which is the two songs and we got the muscles activated and and uh, the body perspirated because I'm sweating I'm you know I'm convinced that that's a good warm-up Okay, so now here, left over right, right over left, and this will help loosen up the shoulders and open up that chest plate of yours, and uh, just loosen up things there really good. Okay, here's the next one, where you close your hands together, and you try to pull them apart, but you don't actually pull them apart, and you should feel that, that stretch in the back of your shoulder blades, and hold that for about 10 seconds, and then we give them a little twist like this, and you should feel that stretch progressively going down your back onto your lower lumbar area. And this is a good total body stretch for the back and everything like that. That's, that's just one of many stretches that we're going to do. Now the next stretch we're going to do is we're gonna work on our neck muscles. So this one you just lean to the, to the left or right, whatever way it's best for you to start on. And then the other side, you don't need to force this one because you just use the weight of your head. And they say the weight of the head is about the, the weight of a pumpkin. So let, I always say to my students, let your pumpkin do the work. Okay, so from left to right, this is the shoulder roll. And notice how I don't, uh, I don't go back, I don't stretch my neck backwards because one of my teachers told me that, you know, that neck is not meant to go back, right? That's how people get whiplash. You don't want to do that so much. Like you just want to, you know, do like a, probably a 180 to 200 degree stretch. You don't want to do that. So anyways, the next stretch is hand on your shoulder, lean away from it. And that will give you a more deep tissue stretch in your shoulder and neck. It's really important to do these stretches too, because throughout the day you turn your head in different positions. You know, somebody might be calling your name and, and you look, you look around the corner and then all of a sudden you, you sprain your neck. I've done that like before. So this is a really good one. And what these stretches do is they actually prepare you for the day because throughout the day we encounter so much. So this one's keep your arms straight, pull it towards your chest. That stretches the tricep muscle and the shoulder muscle as well. And then we go to the other arm. And it's uh, really important to do these stretches every day, you know, because you know, I know a lot of people have uh, health problems or health challenges and ailments. And my uncle actually confirmed this the other day. He came over to visit and he was telling me that <laughs> his doctor's trying to prescribe him all these pills and <clears throat> and he knew that, and, and he knew deep inside that taking pills is not the answer. So hands behind your head. This one, you, you aim your elbow towards your knee. So anyways, my uncle was sharing with me that the doctor's, uh, told him that working out promotes good health, you know? Like given cancer patients that he goes and visits and stuff, that's what they get told to do. You know, if you have, if you're sick or anything like that, the best medicine is rehabilitation. So that's why I do this every day. You know, I'm 41 years old and I'm in a lot better shape than I ever was when I was uh, 18, 19, 20. So I'm just sharing that with you. Uh, so good morning everyone and welcome. 
welcome because this is all for you. This is uh, my little gift to the world and that's all I want to do is make the world a better place. All right, now let's keep stretching now. Let's uh, do the nice uh, twist stretch. This one is, I always uh, envision myself like a, like a tree when I do this one. And I think about what a tree teaches us. A tree teaches us to be thankful, to be grateful, to, you know, to, to be strong. And that's what the trees do, right? They're, they, if you look at them, their their branches are up like this. And this is a teaching that came from a, an elder that, that was my mentor. And and I still carry that teaching today. So the other thing is to plant your, your feet firmly in the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist from left to right. The other thing trees teach us is that, you know, the, the wind, the wind blows them around and then they eventually become stronger and stronger. And any good gardener would know that uh, you need those elements. You need sun, water, good soil, nutrients, and wind, like air, to circulate. And that's why they have fans on, on certain plants, so they can bend and simulate the wind, you know, if you're doing indoor growing. So this one's a very versatile stretch. So uh, I always add diversity in my stretching. I lean forward, lean backwards and I'm still doing that same motion. Anyways, uh, let's go back into, let's go down to the feet now. And this is just as important. So this one is the ankles. And what I do is to do circles with my ankles for about 10 seconds. And I change direction with that. And that helps loosen up the joint and the ankles. And if you hear a little clickety click, that's fine. That's that's your joint uh, loosening up. And, and it's better to, loosen up those things because there's a lot of tension that goes into those joints throughout the day and you know I'm, I'm glad I do these stretches because I do a lot of outdoor activities like for example yesterday I was mowing my my grass and uh, I was noticing that uh, you know I'm stepping on unlevel ground all the time but I do these stretches every day and it helps and I, I don't get injured because of it so this one you plant your heel on the ground toe up and touch your toe and this should stretch underneath your leg here same thing for this side so yeah these stretches and workout they strengthen your body they strengthen your core as well as you're dancing as well you're doing powwow style dancing so you're also healing the earth too you know because a lot of our dancing has to do with that with healing the earth healing yourself dancing for the people dancing is good medicine so here's another stretch for the calf muscle. So this one, you keep your leg straight, bend this leg, and you should feel the nice stretch on the back of your leg here. And typically every stretch is about 10 seconds long. All right. So we're almost done. We, we've got a couple more stretches and then we're gonna get into some more dancing. And, uh, and then maybe we'll do a little little hoop tutorial after okay so then the next one is you've got to pull your own leg and this one uh, you actually are stretching your quadricep muscle which is the, your thigh muscle there and your hip as well as the top of your foot and your ankle because you're pulling on it and you, could, you should feel that stretch in there as well and these stretches they help promote circulation in the body and everything like that so just a little food for thought that I would share with you as well. Okay, we've got a couple more stretches to go and then we should be done. Okay, so this one you put your feet a little bit closer and keep your legs straight and lean forward. And this one's like you're gonna tie your shoes, but you know, sometimes I use this stretch to tie my own shoes or fix my shoes and shoelaces. But this one stretches the back of the legs, the lower back, and uh, even the hips. So my variety of this stretch is I put one, my left over my right, and I do the same thing. And you should feel that a little bit more on your right hip, as well as you're getting that same stretch. And if you want to give it a little bit further, you just go left to right like that with your hands. And that helps loosen up things as well. And uh, I do, a, a, this is like a three part stretch. So I go uh, right foot over to the left and same thing with this. Feel that stretch in your legs. Uh, that's pretty good. All right. 
So let's have some water and uh, we'll get back into the, into the dancing portion now. Now that we've stretched and meditated a little bit and, and uh, basically cooled down from that warm up, we're gonna bring the heart rate back up again because that's what uh, exercising is really all about is uh, hitting that, that target heart rate and um, everybody's different per age you know for example like you know, the younger you are the the higher your heart rate's going to be and the older you are the lower your heart rate's going to be you can look this up on google as well and you can look up you know the, the specific target heart rate for every age group for example like i'm in my 40s now so my target heart rate is about 120 bpm but i usually go to about 130 that's when i'm kind of like pushing it but the resting heart rate is about, uh, the average person is about 50 or 60 BPMs. And um, it varies from person to person. Me, for example, I have a really low heart rate because um, my resting heart rate is about a 40 because I'm active, I, I work out every day and I'm kind of like an athlete, I'm a hoop dancer, right? So um, for me, my heart my resting heart rate is a lot different than the average person. So mine's like similar to those of athletes and Olympians. Not that I'm uh, an Olympian, but hey, I, I try my best. So uh, let's go back into some dancing with the Mountain Soul Singers, one of my favorite all-time drum groups. And if you don't know about them, well, they're from small boy camp and they live the old way. They live that traditional way. And then you can even see it in their outfits and how they carry themselves. They're old school. And this is the old style singing. If you don't know what old style is, old style is basically where they don't use any words in the music. It's just singing. They're just using the vocables. Okay. So let's get get back up there now and dance nice and slow. And this is for the Golden Age crew. Golden age, ladies and men, nice and smooth dance like that. That's how our golden age woman dance. They swing those fringes. So by doing this, we're exercising our core and flexing. And it's still a workout in itself to do that, to control that flow of energy in your body, that one, two step, one, two, one, two, one, two. Right and left, and right and left. One and two, and one and two. One and two, and one and two. Very beautiful singing, I love this song. One and two, and one and two. One and two, and one and two. One and two, and one and two. So that's how we know we're locked in the rhythm. We can hit those beats like that with those swings. Just like that. Two and one and two. Now let's switch it up a little bit and do men's traditional style. Go nice and low like this. One and two and one and two. And this one really exercise your thigh muscles. Two and one and two. One and two and one and two and one and two. And one and two. Back up again. All right, that was really good. Okay, and one and two and one and two and one, two, one and two, one and two and one and two. Nice and high like this. One and two and one and two. Working our lower abs. I'd like to thank and acknowledge my nephew, Ian Roan, for suggesting some Mountain Soul. Mountain Soul, a lot of them are my nephew's relatives. 
so I consider the mind as well. So thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. the way you do it and so I thought I would explain the music a little bit so this is the lead right here and that's the pickup right there where the rest of the group picks it up for those of you that don't know our music and this is the first verse so that's the third part so they sing the, the first verse and then the second verse which is the fourth part of every start Right here, this is where you're gonna hear those those honor beats. Those boom, 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 boom. Right there. That's where the lead drummer hits those thunder beats. They call them honor beats. And that's where, when you're dancing, you have to hit those beats to acknowledge the drum and show your gratitude and dance in synchronization with the drum group. So now we're on second start. And the second start of the song, you know, the, the song has four starts on every typical song. And the songs have four parts to the song. So I'm going to play another song just, just to start things over. I'm going to play, play something a little bit faster. And I'll find a nice and fast, crispy one for you. And then we're going to do some combinations now. And those combinations are basically just coordinated combinations. Oh, that was a little bit too slow. Okay, I'm gonna find a faster one. Here, nice and fast. Okay. Okay. So I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna go through some combinations now. And I'm going to do a, a variety of different styles, whether it's fancy dance, ladies or men's, uh, I'll do some grass dance moves. I'll do some some chicken dance moves. Okay, start out with some chicken dance moves. Chest up and step back like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Twist those heels like that. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight
Sorry if I went a little too fast there for you. I was just getting into the groove. Okay, one more song, then we'll do a cool down. Okay, now this one's, I'll do more of a ladies jingle style. Hands on your hips, and we're just gonna do our feet. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shuffle, one, two, and soul singers all the way from small boy camp so again uh, like I said I'm going to do a little cool down now and you only need about 20 minutes of dancing per day to burn 700 calories and if you don't believe me you can check out my fitness pal it's an app you can get on most smartphone devices and if you like the music Check out Mountain Soul or Mountain Cree. I'm not sure if they're on Apple Music or iTunes, but I did have their CD from a while back. So thanks again to my nephew, Ian Roan, for 
suggesting that I, I use them and uh, say hello to all the boys and uh, all the relatives in the camp and let them know that Dallas still loves them. <laughs> all right. Um, and if you guys don't know who Mountain Soul is, they're uh, from Small Boy Camp and they're also known as Mountain Cree on the Powell Trail. <coughs> Let's keep those feet moving because now we're doing a cool down and that's just as important as the warm up, the working out because if you ever go to powwows and you uh, you see the dancers after they dance, they go they go for a walk, they uh, they walk they walk it up, they walk it out. All right, so uh, all right on. If you guys look in the comments, uh, my nephew's sharing uh, all the names of the singers that he knows. And a lot of them are our relatives because we're related to them in some shape or form and I consider them my relatives as well. So thanks for the beautiful blessing. Awesome. You know, they're one of the one of the most traditional drum groups I've ever heard is the Mountain Soul Singers. You know, they to, to me they reminded me of the ancestors and how they they used to sing and you know that in a way their ancestors are singing through our future generations with that. So let's keep those feet moving. Remember, we gotta do a cool down now. Let's bring our heart rate back down to a safe level and where we're comfortable. So as you see, I'm, I'm sweating really good. And if you're not sweating, then that means you're in better shape than I am. <laughs> and that's okay, <laughs> that's cool. But, uh, or you're not working hard enough. <laughs> uh, one of those two. But anyways, uh, it's all good. Um, it's all good, it's all about exercise, working out, enlightenment, we're learning about culture, and I'm sharing what I know about powwow culture, and the drum group, and, and all the, the dancing, and what it all means, like, you, you basically have to live it to understand it, powwow culture, so, I don't fully understand it, because I only started, I started late in life, I started when I was about 14 years old, and powwow is what really saved my life, and hoop dancing, and I'm very grateful for it. That's So that's why I give back, and this is one of my ways of giving back, is sharing these videos with you, because I do this on a volunteer basis. Uh, nobody's paying me for this or anything like that. Uh, so um, legally I'm allowed to use uh, certain types of music because, you know, I'm not on here for profit or anything like that. I'm just on here to, to share. Uh, somebody's sharing that they're 40, well, I'm 41. <laughs> So I'm older than you. Anyways, um, if you wanna get in good shape, you know, you just gotta keep at it every day um, and go at your own pace. You know, you don't wanna exhaust yourself out. So let's keep those feet moving because consistency is the mother of all skill because you must keep that consistent pace in order to get good at anything or you know, if you want to exercise and work out, like for myself, I, I have to discipline myself to lift weights and practice hoop dancing, music, and uh, I just actually got an audition for uh, a TV series or a movie, so I, I have to commit a lot of my time to that now for the next few days. I'll be putting in a few 12 hour days just to get practiced for the, the role I'm auditioning for. It's for... Uh, Oh, local local producer here is doing a movie, and uh, my I actually have a talent agent. So if you guys are into acting, check out Platinum Talent. They're out of Calgary, and um, what they'll do is they can hook you up with opportunities to work in the movie industry. Whether you want to be a background extra, I did that when I was younger, and they pay pretty good for it. They pay like um, I don't know, 15, 25 bucks an hour. It just depends on the uh, production. So if you're interested in doing some acting stuff or auditioning for yourself or a family member, check out Platinum, Platinum Talent out of Calgary. And if you're not in Alberta, uh, I'd suggest just Googling whatever talent agent is in your area and getting a headshot and you can get yourself some auditions and potentially be on the next Netflix movie or something, I don't know. You know, I've auditioned for several different movies and I've only landed a few roles here and there and 
you know, you basically, it's like Wayne Gretzky says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I'm not afraid to take those shots. You know, I'm never guaranteed to get the roll or anything like that. I have landed some things in the past and it's been some small little victories in between. And I just thought I would share that with you that, um, you know, I'm challenging myself to do other things too. Uh, I also play guitar and sing. So that's another thing that I, another skill that I've developed, another passion of mine. And I also build too. So I've been working on my yard, building. I, I'm a busy guy on a regular basis. So that's why I like starting starting this class first in my day because it, it gets a good pace and it gets uh, it gets a good good way to start your day. You know, sure the smudging is one thing, but dancing is another thing because you may know this or not know this, but powwows don't start till seven in the evening or one o'clock, one o'clock in the uh, in the afternoon. That's that's the earliest they're all their start. So um, dancing though, like I remember hearing stories of elders talking about, you know, if you want to be a serious good champion dancer, as soon as you get up in the morning, that's what you should be doing. Because it's like the great Aristotle says, excellence is not a singular act. You are what you do repeatedly. And that's a quote that sticks in my head all the time when I think about dancing or anything you do in life. You know, writing, you know, I, I, I do a lot of things. Like I, I'm a writer as well. So anyways, I just thought I would uh, share that as well. And uh, thanks for all your comments and shares, and, and it's always nice to hear from the people how this is helping you, and you know whether you're enjoying this, where you're from. It's always nice to say hi, and since we're on social media, this is uh, how we say hi from a long ways away, and it's really good. I feel so close and connected that way. Okay, that's the uh, end of the cool down. I feel that. My heart rate is is uh, doing okay now, so um, I'll do a quick tutorial now on hoop dance. So those of you that are interested on hoop dancing, now uh, the basic hoop dance is, is with with five hoops, and it's a lot different than hula hooping or anything like that. So the first thing I'll teach my students is is uh, you got to learn how to pick up a hoop first of all. So you got to be able to learn to do everything with it and mastering it and doing all kinds of stuff. So as you know, or may not know, I'm a three-time world champion hoop dancer. So uh, I've, I've done my fair share of, of research and understanding and practicing. So the first thing though you need to do is, is to figure out how to pick up this hoop by just simply rolling it up. And how you measure the hoops for our style of hoop dancing, indigenous style, is you, you gotta be able to fit them underneath your arm like that so you can flip them over and they fit in your body properly and they fit through your body. And it's very different. Uh, now, for example, hula hooping, I, I, can't even, I can't even do that, man. Somebody tried to teach me that, but it's not really my style of, <laughs> of uh, hoop dancing. So our style is more with that, that beat when we dance. So you have to be able to spin the hoop and dance with the hoop and become one with that, that momentum and be able to dance to that rhythm and dance around with that hoop and control that hoop as you dance because that hoop is part of it. The momentum, it's part of the dance and it's part of the dancing that you do. So you gotta be able to swing the hoop, do these figure eight swings like that and then be able to spin the hoop in both directions on every hand. So doing these exercises, these are also exercises that you can do to train yourself as well as strengthen different parts of your body. So this helps strengthen the forearm and the tendons just by doing this. If you do this a hundred times, you'll you'll feel it in your forearm and you'll feel that strength. So it, it also helps define and strengthen your, your motor skills as well. So once you get past the spinning part, then you can, can incorporate it into kicking it with your knee like that and switching hands and going back and forth like that. So there's a lot to it, hoop dancing. And you can change it into combinations and different moves and denominations. So once you figure that out, then you can graduate to more and more hoops. And so what I say with my students is, 
is to master every single possibility. And it just takes practice and your, your own time to put into it. So for example, if I have some hoops out, how would you go into the next move? Would you pick it up like this? Would you spin it, pick it up and go like this and then kick it up and then go into it like this and then go into it like this and then go into it like this and then go into the next move. So everything has to basically tie into the next move and it has to flow like, like it's woven, just like a woven blanket or a woven, anything that's interwoven, it, it really, it really flows. The energy is, is really nice. So now the next move, same thing, pick up, step in, pick up. So you need to be able to connect to the next move and get into the next move really fairly quickly. And it's, a hoop dance so you do it while you're dancing a lot of it has to do with dance so you got to keep that beat and it's not just hooping or anything like that so from here uh, you can go into something like this you can grab these you can figure out how to manipulate the hoops in different ways so one of the things I do is I grab the hoops like this and I do this and I get the I get the hoops moving in a different way and this is like a bumblebee sort of thing and push them out like this and it goes into a, a small bird formation and then from here you can flip these over and go like this and pick up the next two which is one of my own very very own signature moves i i, I envision this as more like a, a buffalo skull or bison skull and that's part of my indigenous name which is uh Nemeto Pasqua Musto Snapio. So the word of the day today I'm going to teach you is Pasqua Mustos. Pasqua Mustos is how we say buffalo or to be more correct it's actually bison. So bison is of North America and the story behind what I've been told is why people uh, the, the first Europeans that came here in North America they called buffalo buffalo because the only thing they had to refer to was in Africa they had water buffalo so that's why uh, a lot of people call it buffalo but it's actually bison and so the, the Cree word for the day is Pascua Mustos which is bison so there you go that's part of my name as well so Nisiga so Nimito Pascua Mustos Napio hello I am the dancing buffalo man and that's a name that was given to me in a ceremony so now the next Move, I'm just gonna teach you a really simple version of doing a move. So, this is one of my own signature moves. A lot of my students have learned this over the years. So you put two hoops on each side like that. And what you do is you drop these inside hoops like that, and then it gives you a nice floral design. And then from there, all you gotta do is tuck this hoop in into your leg like that, lock it in, and then lock this hoop in like that. And then, so what you gotta do is while you're dancing, is you, you pop these hoops, you, you go down, grab these hoops and come up, and then all of a sudden it converts and it pops up the hoops like that. So there you go. There's your tutorial for the day. And you can rewind it and look at it later if you want and see how I did that. How did he do that? Well, hey man, that's up to you guys to figure out because when I started doing this, I didn't have nothing to I had nothing to go off of uh, when it when it came to hoop dancing and I had to learn a lot of it myself so you can learn anything you can teach yourself anything you just got to put the time into it and you have to have a passion for it so if you have a, a desire or a passion for it you can learn anything and if you want to learn Japanese or another language you can learn that if you have a passion for it like when I was in I lived in Spain before and I took Spanish classes before but until I actually lived there and live the culture and learn i actually uh, that's how i learned best when i actually lived there and i had to and it was you know it was i wanted to because i met the people and i was so passionate about the spanish culture that i got to learn so um mucho gracias todos is uh preciosa i don't know i i my spanish is kind of not very good anymore but i speak a little bit of spanish still so with that, uh, I want to say, I um, want to give a few shouts out. Uh, I do have some, I do have six albums. So if you guys uh, are into music, this is my latest release, DJ Crazy Cree 
future generations and it's um, electronic music and you can find that on Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify. You can just subscribe and uh, live stream the music. Uh, however, this is not on any of the media platforms. We, we plan to get it out in the future, but this is a documentary, 60 minute documentary on hoop dancing that I did, all the different shows that I've done over the years. So if you want, you can check out my website as well, www.dallasarcan.ca uh, for more information. And I have a bunch of different uh, information, pictures, videos, all that. Uh, and other than that, I, I hope you guys are having fun out there and having a good weekend. So until then, you guys keep fit, have fun, and I'll be back here at 7.30 tomorrow morning, Alberta time. I'm up in Alberta, Canada, uh, Alexander First Nation, broadcasting live from my home to your home. So I wish you all the best of your day, and until then, I guess we'll see you again because there's no word for goodbye. But I always like to say, peace out.